my main objective with this question is to help boost your cognitive skills so you can become smarter and more intelligent. And guess what? The best way for you to become smarter is to try to tackle this question on your own before I share with you my answer and explanations. Give it your best shot and see how close you can get to the answer. I know you've got this. You're presented with amazingly cool looking shape. The shape has a placeholders for seven numbers. And your goal with this question is to arrange the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 so that the sum of the numbers in each straight line is equal. Well, this is not an easy question. But guess what? It's not as difficult as you might think. Remember, you are here to learn. Considering this, can you do me a favor? I really need you to challenge your brain. And it is really necessary to do it now. This problem is not that difficult for you. I really want you to give yourself an opportunity to solve this question yourself. Can you give yourself the best shot? Let me help you here to boost your motivation a little. Remember Seneca? He was a Roman philosopher and statesman whose insightful quotes have been used for motivation for centuries. His quotes offer timeless wisdom on life, resilience, and personal growth. Guess what? I especially like Seneca's quote, as long as you live, keep learning how to live. I think this quote teaches us how continuous self-improvement and lifelong learning are essential for your personal growth and achieving your fullest potential. Was it helpful? I see. Let me give you a hint to boost your intelligence into the stratosphere. So here's the hint. What if I'll tell you that number one should be in the middle? Did this help? I think you've got this. Now why don't you spend a little bit of time to solve this question on your own and get to the final answer. And remember, it's perfectly okay to pause the video and think about the problem while looking for patterns. I have full confidence that you can solve this on your own. You've got this. Time's up. Are you ready to show your answer? I hope you gave it your best shot. Now let's compare the answers. And remember, the best way for you to improve is through daily practice. In fact, scientific research shows that doing cognitive exercises every day for at least 21 days leads to meaningful progress. So come here on YouTube, watch more videos and do it daily. You will see great improvements in your abilities and your cognitive skills in just 21 days. Remember I shared with you a hint? Number one should definitely be in the middle. Here is another tip on how to solve these types of problems. Symmetry can really help us in arranging the numbers. In fact, numbers 2, 3 and 5 would be on the left side and numbers 4, 6 and 7 would be on the right. Now let's do the math to confirm the answers. 2 plus 1 plus 7 equals 10. 3 plus 1 plus 6 also equals 10. And then 5 plus 1 plus 4 also equals 10. Isn't this cool how we just solved it? I hope your answer also was correct. But if you haven't solved it, let me give you another tip so you can solve it in the future. If you place a small number on one side, try placing a larger number on the opposite side to balance the sums. This will help guide you in finding your arrangement that works. Well, I was about to say that I'm done with this question, but here is something else. I'm thinking, what if, what if we place number four in the middle? Can we come up with the similar shape? I think it's doable. So why don't we both spend a little bit more time together to solve this question and then we will look at the final answer. And as I mentioned, remember it's perfectly okay to pause this video and think about this problem while you're looking for the solution. I knew that you can solve the first one and now I'm very sure that you can solve the second one as well. You've got this. Time's up. Are you ready to show your answer? Here's the answer I came up with. We have 1, 2 and 3 on the left side and numbers 5, 6 and 7 on the other side. And obviously number 4 is in the middle. Let's do the verification. 1 plus 4 plus 7 equals 12. 2 plus 4 plus 6 also equals 12. And then 3 plus 4 plus 5 also equals 12. You see how symmetrical this shape is? Numbers 1, 2 and 3 on the left are incrementing by 1 and same thing is true for the pattern on the right, 5, 6 and 7. Isn't this a truly magical shape? 
guess what? I was about to say we're done here. I think there is a possibility to build this shape again with number seven in the middle. Do you see it too? Why don't we do this then? Give it your best shot and post your answer in comments. I have full confidence that you can do it and I know you've got this. Good luck with this intriguing challenge. Tackling this question, let's learn from the advice of basketball legend Michael Jordan. I have failed over and over and over again in my life and that's why I succeed. Let's always remember that each effort, whether successful or not, is part of the journey toward your goal. You need to determine the value of x. And all that's known is that 7 multiplied by x minus 2 equals 2x minus 4. Your choices for the answer. Choice A, 1. Choice B, 2. Choice C, 3. And last but not least, choice D, 5. Well, it's likely you're expecting a remark on the question's difficulty. Well, I would agree. It's not a slam dunk type of question. But remember Michael Jordan. He viewed each challenging moment as an opportunity to expand your horizons. Slow down, rely on your strength, and confront this question with boldness and resilience. Together, we will tackle this challenge, enhancing our abilities along the way. Time's up. Are you ready to show your answer? Always remember that with every practice question you complete, you're not just seeking the right answer, but also building the mental muscle that will drive your future achievements. So embrace each challenge as an opportunity to grow stronger. And remember, online training for everyone channel is always here to support you. And this is the moment where I need to tell you the secret. Remember that the most important step toward your success is to make sure you adopt the only known winning mentality, where you're not just being afraid of trying, experimenting, and making errors and mistakes. What might help you is that you will continue to tell yourself a message that my desire to learn is fueled by understanding that mistakes are essential part of personal development. And speaking about mistakes, did you know that the most common mistake here with this particular problem is forgetting that you can solve this equation for x. Let's look how you can do it. The first step would be to open the brackets. The result will be 7x minus 14 equals 2x minus 4. In the next step, you calculate 7x minus 2x, which would be equal 14 minus 4. The result of this would be 5x equals 10, which helps us calculate x, which would be equal to. So the correct answer here is choice B, 2. As you're probably well aware, Henry Ford is known not just the father of modern assembly line, but he's also coined an amazingly accurate wisdom widely used to help people challenge their thinking and improve themselves. Whether you believe you can or believe you can't, you are right. Same is true for you trying to solve this interesting and tricky question. You are presented with three cool looking triangles. Each triangle has four numbers inside and one number on the top in the circle. For the first triangle, the numbers inside are 1, 3, and 4, 2 on the top, and 6 in the middle inside the other shaded triangle. The second triangle has numbers 3, 2, and 4, number 3 on the top, and number 7 in the middle. And then the last, third triangle, has numbers 5, 4, and 6, number 2 on the top, and then missing number in the middle. You need to calculate the missing number and select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 13, choice B, 14, choice C, 15, and last but not least, choice D, 16. Are you feeling challenged by this question? That's completely normal. Remember though, sometimes the simplest solutions are the most effective. Let's approach this with fresh eyes and innovative thinking. Are you ready to showcase your solution? Let's get into it to see how our answers match up. And even if you don't have the answer, don't get discouraged. Keep your spirits up, even if you're unsure. Every question, whether answered correctly or not, is a chance to gain valuable insights and refine your skills for future success. To solve these types of challenges, you need to detect the pattern. Typically, the missing number is the result of the calculations. 
And in this case, the pattern is that the bottom left number added to the upper triangle number in the power of the number in the circle minus the bottom right number calculates the number in the shaded triangle. Let's look at the example. 1 plus 3 in the power of 2 minus 4 equals 6. This is how a number inside the shaded triangle was calculated. Let's verify this logic with the second triangle. 3 plus 2 in the power of 3 minus 4 equals 7. Now we can easily calculate the missing number. 5 plus 4 in the power of 2 minus 6 equals 15. So the correct answer here is choice C, 15. It's uh, hard to deny that with this magical question, you are not just solving this particular challenge, but you're composing a masterpiece of intellect. Each correct solution is a brush stroke in the portrait of your success. You're presented with the sequence, and you need to determine the missing number in the sequence. The sequence is 35, 16, 14, and then comes the missing number, which you need to select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 10. Choice B, 11. Choice C, 12. And last but not least, choice D, 13. Well, I think we can agree on one thing with you. It's a tricky question. But remember though, you are not navigating this path alone. I am here to help as well as other subscribers on this channel. Whether you're a problem-solving expert or a newcomer, I have full faith in your capabilities. Take a moment to gather your thoughts, tap into your imaginative side, and let's triumph over this challenge together. Your solution is almost ready and is definitely within the reach. Are you ready with your answer? I am eager to see it, so let's proceed and compare our solutions. Together, we will unravel the complexities of this assessment test question. I'll ask you for a favor, and specifically to share your thought process in comments. Your insight might hold the key for all of us to learn and improve. What's interesting about this question is that it seems unsolvable until you start thinking out of the box. The pattern here is next number is calculated as sum of digits of the previous number multiplied by 2. Let's look at the first number. First number is 35. Two digits are 3 and 5. 3 plus 5 equals 8. Multiplied by 2 equals 16. Let's go to the next number so we can continue the sequence. 1 plus 6 multiplied by 2 equals 7 multiplied by 2 and equals 14. So, to calculate the missing number, we need to add 1 and 4 and multiply it by 2. 5 multiplied by 2 equals 10, so the correct answer here is choice A, 10. <sighs> Let's face it, navigating this question is like convincing a cat to take a bath. A tricky endeavor, but once you soak in the solution, it's a clean success. This assessment might be measuring our ability to handle slippery math expressions. In fact, you are presented with three of those expressions. The first one is 23 multiplied by 23 equals 25. The second one is 25 multiplied by 25 equals 49. And the third one is where you need to find the missing number. The expression is 27 by 27, and the result of it you need to select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 64. Choice B, 72. Choice C, 76. And last but not least, choice D, 81. Feeling a bit stuck? Well, guess what? You're not alone. I feel exactly the same way. But I'm the firm believer that you've got this. Whether you're a seasoned problem solver or just starting out, I know you can do it. Take a deep breath, approach it with creativity, and let's navigate through this challenge together. Your breakthrough is just around the corner. Are you ready with your solution? Well, or at least excited about this mental workout. Let's tackle this puzzle and explore the complexities together. And don't forget to share your brilliance, insight, in comments. Your solution might be just the breakthrough we need. Did I warn you that this expression is slippery? In the typical world, 23 multiplied by 23 equals 529. But to solve this problem, we need to think out of the box. And instead of using traditional math, you need to sum up the digits and multiply the result of the sum operation. Let's look at the example. For example, 23 by 23 would be 2 plus 3 in parentheses, multiplied by 2 plus 3 would be 5 multiplied by 5, and the result of this would be 25. 
The second expression would be 2 plus 5 in parentheses multiplied by 2 plus 5 in parentheses would be equal 7 by 7 would be equal 49. So the missing number could be calculated as 2 plus 7 multiplied by 2 plus 7 which would be equal 9 multiplied by 9 or 9 squared and would be equal to 81. So the correct answer here is choice D, 81. And now it's time to do something different. The spotlight now is on you. Take the lead in solving this question on your own terms. You need to post your answer in comments so I can share with you my feedback. And I have full confidence that you will shine with your brilliance right now by solving this challenge. You're presented with cool looking shape which has six numbers present and seventh number missing. The numbers are starting with the number in the middle 7, 11, 12, 13, see the pattern here, 95, 83, and then comes the missing number, which you need to calculate and select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 65, choice B, 71, choice C, 79, and last but not least, choice D, 87. Keep in mind that this question might seem challenging at first, but learning through trying and making mistakes is the only way. Only when you actively engage in attempting to do something new or challenging, you learn and find the answers. In fact, we encourage and embrace mistakes on this channel. Just this fact might be a good consideration for you to subscribe. But there's another reason. Did you know that when you make mistakes, you gain insights and understand what doesn't work, which guides your future attempts? This hands-on experience and the lessons learned from errors are crucial for you mastering new skills and knowledge. And mastering your new skills is our goal and the way to help you here. Well, I'm thinking there's another way and another thing I can do to help. Do you think hint might be helpful for you to solve this challenge? Okay, fine, here's the hint. Do you think the numbers on the opposite sides of this shape could be calculated? Would doing math operations between numbers help? And maybe somehow using the number in the middle? Always remember that your journey of self-improvement is paved with challenges. Whether your answer is correct or not, each of your attempts make you strengthen your skills and resilience, bringing you closer to success. Tackle this challenge on your own and then share your solution in comments. I'm looking forward to discussing your answer in comments and providing some feedback. Thanks for getting involved and good luck with this intriguing challenge. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you for helping us to become one of the largest YouTube channels to help people become smarter, increase your IQ, and to pass any test. If the content of this video was helpful, please make sure to click the like button to help YouTube algorithm promote this video and help other people to find it faster. Giving us a like is also a way for you to tell us that you need more content like this, and when you tell us, we will deliver it for you in the future. For links to free and premium resources, please check the description and comments of this video. You can also go directly to our website, howtoanalyzedata.net, to download the materials related to this topic. I really appreciate your endorsement, support, and patronage of this channel. And thank you for considering to become a member and considering to subscribe. Please leave feedback, suggestions, or corrections in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.